Yesterday was observed as Palm Sunday by several churches. More details from Sasha Ramsaran. Palm Sunday, which was celebrated yesterday, marks the final Sunday of Lent, the beginning of Holy Week, and commemorates the triumphant arrival of Christ in Jerusalem days before he was crucified. During Palm Sunday Mass, palms are distributed to parishioners who carry them in a ritual procession into church. The palms are blessed and many persons fashion them into small crosses or the fronds of coconut leaves can be used as was seen at the Roman Catholic Church of the Ascension. Before the procession, it is customary to have a reading of the Holy Gospel and to bless the palms. The blessing of the palms was done by priests of the Roman Catholic Church of the Ascension, Father Tony de Souza. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When they drew near Jerusalem to Bethage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a cold tide on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and will send it back here immediately. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So I come round blessing the palms and blessing you, right? The procession then followed. The All Saints Anglican Church had a similar service where a reading of the Gospel was done by Father Raymond Cummings prior to the blessing of the palms. Then they brought the coal to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the field. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he looked around at everything there was, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ, O Lord. Bless these palms and let them be to us a sign for victory and grant that we who bear it in his name may ever hail him as our King and follow him in the ways that lead to eternal life who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
The procession then ensued. Over at the St. Michael's Anglican Church at Fort Wellington, West Coast, Barbies, Father John Rodriguez performed the reading and blessing of the palms. On this day, our Lord Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph. The people welcomed him with palms and shouts of praise. But the path before him led to self-giving, suffering, and death. Today, we greet him as our king. Although we know his crown is thorns and his throne across, we follow him this week from the glory of the palms to the glory of the resurrection by the way of the dark road of suffering and death. Bless these palms. And let them be a sign for us a victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The procession then followed, accompanied by the singing of a few hymns. Because the palms are blessed, they are not discarded as trash, but are gathered and incinerated to create the ashes that will be used for the following year's Ash Wednesday. The colors of the Mass on Palm Sunday are red and white, symbolizing the redemption in blood that Christ paid for the world. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.